And just like that, we are less than a month away from the next iPhone release, the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. So I thought, let's go over the leaks, rumors, and speculate on what's about to go down. Because if there's one thing we can always count on is a Apple event in September. This, this year, it's looking like it's gonna be, you know, September 10th, um, but that's not official yet. That will be very soon. I would say Apple would push out a, you know, press release, you know, invite to their special event. But we always know it's a September Apple event for the iPhones and the Apple Watches. And just last year, I got the iPhone 15 Pro, and I gotta say, they added some amazing features to the Pro iPhone. But what if I tell you this year, you may get some of those features that they locked to a higher price point, you know, a thousand bucks. Now you may be able to get those features for less and even more. I mean, we gotta get into these rumors. So first off, the bigger sizes. Now, when I said regular, this is gonna be for the Pro, it's rumored that the Pro iPhones are actually gonna get a little bit bigger. And it's not that much, but just, you know, a typical increase from the 6.1 and the 6.7, just a couple millimeters bigger, enough to make these look just a tad bigger, enough to where you have to buy new cases, you know, cause Apple loves to do that. You gotta buy a new case for the new phone. Um, no more backwards compatibility like ever at all anymore. And while a larger display is cool and all, what about the cameras? Yeah, it's looking like the cameras are gonna be really cool this year. They're going back to like the iPhone 10 days where it was a vertical camera on the regular model. So no more diagonal, you know, checker looking, you know, camera bump. It's actually gonna be vertical this year. That's for the base model iPhone 16 and 16 plus. And they will likely have the iPhone 15 like camera system. So it may change, but it's not, you know, there's no specs, you know, you know, rumored or leaked. Um, but we just know they're moving it to a different orientation as well as battery life across all iPhone 16 models. I mean, we got to talk about this. Battery life is something that we all can use more of, like seriously, especially as your phone ages and you lose battery degradation and you just need more battery life. Every iPhone model 16 is gonna get better battery life. They may look like percentages mean something. They typically just, you know, it's hard to actually determine what that means, but basically better battery life, that's all you need to know. That's all we ever need to know. Now, something that's very interesting is this sort of capture button. So you might be thinking, uh, is this kind of like that feature on the iPhone 15 Pro that was the action button? Yes and no, they're adding another button that's right on the right side of your phone close down to the bottom where the antenna for like cellular data is probably don't even know about it if you use case but there's like this little antenna there and in place of that they might add like a capture button for recording or taking pictures um, that's very interesting and i'm not sure if they're going to bring the action button over too or is this going to just be only for taking pictures and videos, it's hard to say. Now getting back on the camera system, the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, we don't have much about the camera system, um, but it is said that it's gonna get better ultra wide angle lens, and I think that's a very noticeable improvement that needs to be addressed. I don't know why the ultra wide is the worst camera on the iPhone. The telephoto, the normal wide, but then the ultra wide, you turn it on and everything's grainy. Like it just doesn't match the other cameras on the phone. And I just don't know why that is, but uh, that's, that's kind of like my complaint about that. And I definitely think that they should improve that. And I'm glad to hear it's in the reports, it's in the rumors, and we may just see that in a few weeks. And one thing I can applaud Apple for is making a great telephoto lens. When you zoom in, on the iPhone 15 Pro, it's amazing. But what if I told you that the iPhone 16 Pro is gonna get even better, especially the 16 Pro Max with the super telephoto periscope camera rumored. I mean, this is just wild. The current setup is a 77 millimeter lens when you zoom in. But what if I told you the full length 
for the 16 Pro Max is rumored to go to 300 millimeters. This is going to be an extreme good camera setup. And obviously we get better performance with the Apple's next generation A18 Pro chip. Apple's making the best chips out there. Yeah, there's nothing to say. I mean, they keep adding all these features. They got Apple intelligence right around the corner with the new iOS release. And I think it's safe to say that performance has never been an issue in the past few years, really, with iPhones. The, just the performance is great and nobody has any complaints, really. And the reports are just saying it's getting faster. So, I mean, I don't have much to say about that, but it's, it's good looking, looking up. Now, something I experienced but haven't experienced in a while is things with the iPhone heating up. You know, the iPhone 15 Pro, they everyone raved about it. They said, hey, it's overheating. I don't like this. Why is it doing this? It's overheating. I can't touch it. It's too hot. Well, it's looking like Apple's working on making their iPhones more thermal, um, just kind of developed better. And what I mean by that is they're going to have a new thermal design better way for the iPhone to heat sink, if that makes sense. So like iPhones or just like PCs, you know, I got one back here. It's got fans. I don't know if you can hear it, maybe, um, but the fans cool it down. Well, iPhones don't have fans in them, so they have to push out the heat through like a heat sink sort of system. I'm not sure how that works exactly on iPhone at least. Um, but obviously it's going to overheat at some point in time, the battery is charging or using it. So if Apple can sort of create this better thermal um, dynamic, I get, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's gonna not be as hot. All right, last up, something I wanna highlight is the new colors. And that's where the 15 Pro new color option is said to be like a new rose gold color, more of a bronze appearance. So, I mean, that's cool. And then coming to the regular iPhone 16 and 16 Plus, we're looking at black, green, pink, blue, and white. Very basic, but like I said again, more vibrant colors. And that's kind of what Apple's hopefully going for. The reports are saying it, the rumors are saying it, there's speculation about it. So blue, green, and pink will be the new iPhone 16 colors. And there is so much more that is reported but those are just the highlights. I'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts down below and I'll definitely be sure to keep you guys updated. Until then, be sure to comment your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.